Hello and welcome to this channel. Today our topic is 70% IPA. IPA is basically known as isopropanol, isopropyl alcohol or IPA of course. IPA is a widely used disinfectant with pharmaceuticals, hospitals, clean rooms, electronics industries and medical device manufacturing means it is commonly used for cleaning purpose so why we use IPA because it has disinfectant properties and cleaning benefits so usually the question raised in our mind is that why we use 70% IPA not why 99% Hence we know the IPA is alcohol and the higher concentration of alcohol don't generate more desirable antimicrobial properties. Water acts as a catalyst and plays a key role in denaturing the proteins of vegetative cell membranes. Extra water content like in 70% IP solutions penetrates the cell wall more completely which penetrates the entire cell, coagulates the all proteins available in the cell and therefore the microorganism dies. It actually increases the surface contact time that is really matter. IPA is commercially available as 70% but it's not very common. So we prepare from the 99% in our lab. Let's get started. Requirements are measuring cylinder, graduated beaker, isopropyl alcohol, distilled water, spray bottle, gloves or mask. Optional because if you have a sensitive skin, you must wear gloves. I have this labeled spray bottle which I use in my lab before testing or any other purpose. For the making of 500 ml, I will divide 500 to 100 and multiply by 70. That means I will use 350 ml IPA and 150 ml of distilled water. Now I have added 150 ml of distilled water measured by cylinder. Now I will do volume makeup by isopropyl alcohol solution to 500 ml mark now i will pour into my spray bottle for future use You can use this disinfectant for 15 days or for 2 weeks because as it is disinfectant, it may also lose its effectiveness against microorganisms. That is a reason we do disinfectant efficacy or other kind of disinfectant.